This is a very exciting time for me, and I believe it's a very exciting time for you. Why? Because we are going to see Jesus in the book of Joshua. Oh, Joshua, what a book it is. And when you see this is the key to success in your family, in your health, in your wealth, in your business, in everything. Who wants to be a failure? No, you don't want to be a failure. You want to be successful. Now you say, well, how do you know this is the key to success? Well, I have really meditated on this book and I saw how Joshua always wins, but I've also used it in my own life because Joshua 1.8 is the theme of my life, frankly. And I'm excited for you to have it because I want the theme of your life to be successful in every area, health, wealth, family, business, favor, wisdom, all kinds of goodies here. And so, and then I have, of course, at the end, two special tapes that you can listen to because, you know, some of you are quite serious about wanting to be a success. I'm serious about wanting you to be a success. So I'm going to look at the book because if I look at Joshua, God told him how to take the promised land. Good night. How do you do that? You know, and really he doesn't have a lot of in the natural going for him. But God said in Joshua 1.8, if you will meditate on the word day and night, if you will do what it says, you will be successful in every arena of your life. So meditate. What does it mean? So I looked it up and it means to speak. It also means to memorize. So I took this book and I began to meditate on all of the successes of Joshua. Now, when he came in to take the promised land, that was a big deal. And how could he be busy and meditating at the same time? And what did he have to meditate on? Oh dear, he only had the Pentateuch. And so he had to meditate on just the Pentateuch, which I think, oh, I don't know. But he meditated on it because I see that he was successful in every arena of his life. Every arena. So he meditates on the word and he has to take it. Take the promised land and drive all these people out. And so how did he have time? And see, that's what I think is our excuse. We say, well, I don't have time to meditate, which basically means to memorize. Well, if I just read the Bible, but I'm just saying, do you want to be successful in every area of your life? So I took this as the theme of my life and I began to memorize books of the Bible. Literally. You say, are you crazy? No, I'm totally sane. And were, are you successful? I have been successful in every area of my life. So what did he have? He had the Pentateuch. And he began to speak it as he went out to take the promised land. Now, while I go through the book, and you will, you will love this. I mean, if you're serious about the Bible, honey, you're going to get so turned on you can't believe it. It's so awesome. And so when I began to see how he meditated day and night, and he had to take the promised land, and I'm thinking, what did he meditate on? The Pentateuch, oh dear Lord, who wants to meditate on judges? You know, I mean, Ruth isn't bad, but some of those books, but he literally meditates on it day and night. So I watch his success and he takes the promised land in just a short time. Now they had all of these enemies. And so he has unusual success in taking the promised land. And God raises up people for him who really come on the scene and walk with him. So we see some very key people as we go through here. And I want you to have this because you will see God uses people in your life. 
And sometimes he uses some pretty ugly people that he can make them a blessing to you. So let me just share something. One time I was invited to be on a noon news program here in Denver. And so I said, what do you want to talk to me about? Well, we just want to talk to you about reading the Bible and just about the Bible, what you think is successful. So this young man was very smart aleck. And he said, uh, you say you read the Bible every day. I said, yes, I do. Actually, I memorize scripture. I meditate on it. He said, well, he said, I know a lot of Christians. And how do you think they're going to be successful? And how do you think you're going to be successful? I said, because I have the key to success. Now, what did God begin to do? As I memorized scripture, as I had to say it out loud, remember, I'm doing this every day. So you say, good night, Marilyn. What book did you start with? I started with Proverbs. And so every day I, I took a piece of Proverbs and it took me nine months to memorize the book of Proverbs. And I had a friend and we would call each other and she got tired of it and forgot it. But I kept doing it. And it opened doors for me. Do you know I have been in over 60 countries in the world and ministry? Do you know I am a woman? Do you know I'm an old woman and I'm still going overseas? And how does that come? It comes from meditating. So Joshua began to meditate. Busy, busy time in his life. Now I thought, what are the areas that he won in? And he won in the battles. He was always winning. And the most unusual thing, you know, is that he tells the sun to stand still. What? He did. You say, well, I don't know about that. Well, it's in the Bible. And it's from a man who meditated. You say, well, it seems like he was awfully busy and took the promised land. Yeah, I can understand that. But what about his family? Joshua tells us what he said. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we say, yeah, I like that. But that came out of meditating. Now, let me tell you something else. He was a very wealthy man. And, you know, he wasn't young. He was old by this time. And he said to them, I'm not retiring. I, I don't want a little nest in the West. I want that mountain. I want Timnath Sarah, which means the mountain of the sun. And so he retired on top of a mountain. But the biggest thing to me is as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we see that in the book of Joshua. So your meditating opens up success in every area of your life. You say, well, I won't work in mine. Too late to tell me that, and I'm older than you are. Joshua 1.8 has worked in my life since I was 20 three years old. I started meditating on the Word. And, you know, today, you say, well, can you speak all those promises of Proverbs? No, but they really worked in my life while I needed it. I also did a hundred Psalms. I did all of the epistles. And it does something to your brain because it's the Word of God and it brings life. Now, I want you to get this because I want you to be successful. And you can get it through MarilynAndSarah.org. And are you a serious Christian? Are you? Then you need this very much. And I want you to stay tuned for the next teaching because I'm giving you successful teaching. You say, well, I don't know if it works. I'm older than you are, so don't give me that stuff. I know it works. And it will work with your children, too. You know, and I had my children meditating and speaking the promises. And so you see Sarah today, how very successful she is, meditating, meditating, speaking the word, speaking the promises. Now you say, well, I have a bucket of problems. Really? I think who doesn't? But if you take the promise that goes with the problem 
you will get the provision. I like provisions. So meditating on the word helps me to take the promise that fits the problem. And so I've gone to Muslim countries. They don't kill me. I've seen people healed of horrible things, horrible things. And it's the name of Jesus. And honestly, you'll think this is really crazy. I'm the most popular in Muslim countries. The last time I was in Pakistan, I gave the plan of salvation to 200 imams. You say, well, did they kill you? No, 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 they didn't kill me. They stood up and said, you are our mom. And I only teach Jesus, the Son of God, the Word of God. It is so powerful. It will work for you. And don't miss getting this. You've got to have it.